Hey guys, Ron Bond, Bondo Build Construction here. I got a real quick tip for you on doing some drywall patching here. Um, we got this hole over here that used to be a thermostat because there was some electric heat inside this house. So we want to get rid of that. Well, there's a lot of different ways you could fix something like this. You could put a piece of wood behind it and uh, screw it off and tape it all up. But there's really a quick, easy solution to stuff like that. Just take this piece of drywall here just a scrap that I had that's bigger than that. So what I'm gonna do is turn it over like this and I'm gonna mark it like this and like this. And I'm gonna turn it like this. I'm just making it a little bigger than the hole that's there. I'm gonna turn it like this, mark it like this and like this. So now I got my marks there I'm gonna take a square real quick. I'm just going to cut along my marks. Kind of like you're playing tic-tac-toe here. When you're done. I'll cut those two lines like that. So this is what we got right now. We just made a little tic-tac-toe. This is the piece that we're saving. Everything else here is going to go. So what you do is take this, you score that, and you break it like that. Take it and pull the drywall off, but leave the paper on. So I took that drywall off. Do the same thing here. Really easy guys, yeah, simple. Peel it off. Now these two little extra ones. Boom. Boom. Grab it like that. So what we got here is a little blow-off patch. And I mean all I had was a sailing knife. It's the only tool you need. I've seen people use hole saws and you need a smaller hole saw and a bigger hole saw, which works fine, but if you don't have hole saws and you want to do something really simple, just use a She's a drywall knife or a Stanley knife. And take this patch here that you've made and it goes in there like that. And that's your patch. So what you do is take this, I don't have time today to um, mud this off, but what I would do with this now that I got it is I'm gonna soak it in water, damp it. I'm gonna take some drywall compound and I'm gonna mud this area, this area, this area, and this area. Get it nice and sticky with mud. I would sand this down, rough it up, and just stick that right in there, right in the mud. Just stick it right in there, and then just take your uh, knife and press it off, and there's your patch. Just as simple as that. Just a quick, easy tip for you today. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, real quick we're going to finish up this patch job that I started showing you the other day. I just tied these two videos together. Um, I'm just going to sand this. It's got a lot of textured paint around this thing, so I'm going to sand this with just a little piece of sandpaper. Just rough it up. And make sure things stick to it. Get it good enough to any, knock off any high spots. This has a really thick paint job, like two, a couple layers of the texture. I don't know if it's textured or two colors anyway. It's a hundred grit sandpaper. That should do it. Just stuff it up real quick. Here's my pad.
So I took the pads and I, I dunked it in water just to just to wetten it a little bit. Got some mud here. You take a little bit of mud on your trowel like that, your knife, and just put it along like this. You don't see anything through it. It's good and covered. Okay, so then I'm going to take a little bit of mud on my knife and I'm just going to put it on the edges of here. See that? Like that. I push it in, it's gonna fill that too. Just a little bit here, like that. That's what she should look like right there. See that? Nothing showing through. Everything's good and covered. Real easy, guys. Oops. I'm gonna get this thing picked up. I don't wanna get my mud off of it. Let's go over to our hole here. I'm just going to put it in there, like that, get it in there, like I said I pre-moistened this thing, so stuck it out in there like that, take my trowel again, and just press it out, I want to get the mud pressed out from underneath it, just kind of tip your knife like this and put your finger on it and put some pressure on it and just squeeze that mud out of there just like that right around that thing put a little bit extra on there There we go. That's my plugs in place. I'm gonna let that dry right there. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. It's gonna let that dry. So we didn't have to tape nothing. Only tools I really used was six inch trowel knife and a Stanley knife. You don't need no hole saws or none of that. You don't need to put a board behind it and screw it off or none of that. Just a quick easy piece of sheetrock patch stick it on there and uh, let this dry and then you can put a little coat over it and sand it down and paint it up thanks again for watching my channel guys hope this helps you out see you next time